Hi everybody, I'm just going to demonstrate how to synchronize the radar systems with the computers um, using logic in this demonstration, but you can quite easily take this uh, demonstration and uh, apply the same principles using Pro Tools. So I have logic booted here. Okay, and in order to synchronize, I need to go down to my transport bar, find my synchronizer icon, and click it click and hold and bring up my sync settings. If that icon is not there then it's because it's not in the uh, transport bar and to get your sync icon up you hit control on the keyboard click customize transport bar settings and here's your sync function here and you can see this icon disappearing and reappearing as I, as I click. Next I need to click and hold go to synchronize the settings and I get this window here. And there's three functions we need to look at: the sync mode, the frame rate, and the offset. So, firstly, the sync mode. Uh, this one's defaulted to MTC, which means MIDI time code. It gives you three options: internal, MTC, and manual. Now, um, internal, the radar system defaults to internal, which means that it's the radar system producing the time code. Logic or Pro Tools should be set uh, to receive MTC, MIDI timecode. So radar is the master, your sequencer is the slave. It should be set to MTC. Now, um, I'm not in the studios right now, so I'm not too sure what the default frame rate is for the radar system, but I believe it's 25. But you can check this by looking at the uh, radar monitor, computer monitor, and looking in the top right-hand corner to see what the frame rate is. Whatever it is, it should match, your sequence should match with the frame rate of the radar system. Finally, here, the offset. Radar defaults to zero, um, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds, zero frames, and zero subframes. Logic, in this case, is defaulted to one. So I need to make that zero. Type in a zero. There we go. That means now that both radar and Cubase logic, sorry, <laughs> or Cubase or Pro Tools have the same offset. They'll start at the same point. They both start here. And that's it. So all you need to do is check your sync mode, frame rate, and offset once that's done. Close that window. Make sure your sync is on. If it goes blue at the top here. And if all is okay, you should just press play on radar and your sequencer should start running along in time. 